the No Fate channel. Checking in. On this episode of Dad's Gadgets, I am reviewing the Bob and Brad Mini Percussion Massager, and this one certainly deserves the moniker Mini. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, do me a solid, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button down below. On this Dad's Gadget series, I typically review a gadget that comes across my desk, my home, my use to help you decide, hey, if it's gonna benefit you, if it's right for you, and most importantly, if it's worth your hard earned money. Percussion massages, huge, more and more are coming out left and right. There's all different types of shapes and sizes, and people happen to love these minis for a few reasons, and we're gonna get into it. Main reason, that people love the minis is the handle. Now these handles on most of the percussion massages that have come out that aren't minis, they tend to be quite thick, they tend to be quite heavy, and they tend to frankly just not feel comfortable in the hand after a few minutes of use. You just kind of want to put them down because it's just tedious. It becomes, it becomes work to give yourself a massage. And the whole point of these percussion massage guns is to be able to give yourself a massage um, without actually having to feel like you're actually putting in the work yourself. So the Bob and Brad Mini is absolutely super mini. I mean, look at that. Compare the size of my hand. It is super, super small. Comes in at 1.5 pounds, which is at least half a pound under some of the other minis that I have reviewed. And I will tell you right off the bat, in terms of grip, in terms of the handle, this is by far the most comfortable handle. It's got a neoprene outer shell here to allow you to be able to hold it and grip it without slipping, but it is super small and sleek so that it just feels comfortable in the hand and it does not get uh, clunky or tiresome to use. We call this a mini percussion massager, but how small is it? From top to bottom, it is only seven inches tall. And then in terms of width, it is only five and a half inches from one side all the way to where you actually put in the tip. It comes with five attachment heads, and I've had this discussion in the past on my many, many reviews of percussion massage guns. People kind of get up or get caught up in the number of heads that they need. They think that you know more attachments, the better off they're going to be with respect to uh, you know they're getting more value, right? They think they're getting more value because they've got more attachments. And the truth is, it doesn't matter. Okay, I have typically used mainly probably two for 80% of the massages that I've done. And usually I'll go up to four on rare occasions. So if you get something that's five or more, it's gonna cover all your bases. Frankly, again, I think you really only need three to maybe four. This comes with five, so it definitely is going to get the job done in that front. Comes with a nice booklet for instructions on how to actually use this thing, on you know, which, which massage heads are right for which muscles and which type of massages. Overall, what's one of the nice things about this is the charging port is a USB-C. That's a lot of stuff is moving towards that USB-C charging port. Um, and it's nice to see that they're catching up with the times. So I already mentioned a few pros with regards to this Bob and Brad percussion massage gun. Very, very light at 1.5 pounds. The biggest standout to me by far is the grip. So small. And I've reviewed a number of mini percussion massagers. And frankly, this is the easiest to hold and most comfortable to hold for long periods of time. I will say it has five star rating on Amazon after 500 reviews. That's pretty unheard of. Usually with Amazon, and I don't hold much stock to the Amazon reviews, usually you'll see four to four and a half stars on these. To see a five star review, that's pretty good. As far as customer service goes, this does come with a one year warranty. I reached out to customer service to see what their response time was with regards to like an actual response and not a robo response. And I got a response within 24 hours. That's very, very good. Now in terms of noise, with some of these percussion massagers, especially the bigger, beefier ones, man, those top speeds can be super noisy and frankly it's 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 a nuisance if you live in the house with someone else it can be downright noisy so let's talk about this one most percussion massagers will say that they are quiet but the truth is not all of them are so we're going to go through the settings here in terms of using this all you got to do is push that button in the back and you are at the lowest setting this does come with five settings i will say Personally, even the ones that come with like 20 or 30 settings in terms of speed, you're going to find that you're never going to use all of them. You're going to find like you're going to use the lowest, the middle, and then the top speed. And even though it comes might come with more speeds, they're not going to be used. So this one comes with five speeds, tops out at 3200 RPM. But let's go back over the sound here. Boom. 
that's pretty quiet this is the lowest setting that is very very quiet hopefully the microphone's picking this up super quiet um and there you go let's go up let's go up to the midway point so now we're at three again uh, compared to the other ones that i've reviewed this is like whisper quiet let's go up to five only at five is the sound a little bit louder but again still that top speed i'll tell you right now is a lot quieter than a lot of the other percussion massagers and that tends to be a big differential between the higher end and the the lower end in terms of cost now as far as stall force as far as power a lot of people will message me and say hey what's the stall force and stall force is how hard you have to press in order to get this thing to just manually stop itself and the stall force is 50 pounds and that tends to be right around what a lot of the other ones are i will say if you're pushing so hard that you stall this thing you've really got to be trying to hurt yourself because uh, I tried to see how hard I would have to push and I couldn't get there. I could, I was pushing super hard. I still couldn't get this thing to stall out. And I think a lot of people focus on that because it's a number that a lot of percussion massagers will advertise as something that they need to be aware of or a way to differentiate between one versus another. And I wouldn't focus too heavily on that. The only thing on this I would say is that if you're an athlete, if you're a super strong person and you're looking to really tear into those muscles and you're looking for something that's on the professional side, this isn't it. This is really meant as for someone that has a smaller hand that is looking, that is not as strong, that's looking to use this casually for blood flow to help kind of knead out some, some deep tissue issues. Uh, but it's not meant to handle the rock. It's not meant to handle, you know, Matt Frazier, all the other CrossFit, you know, aficionados. So I went over some of the pros. Let's talk about the cons because on this channel, we try to do pros and cons to help you decide what's going to most be right for you. Oftentimes I mention cons just so you, when you buy something, you go in there with your eyes wide open. But many times, a lot of the, the, the negatives that I mention about a product might not be something that you even bother with or you might even experience, but I want you to be aware of them. So number one con on this Bob and Brad percussion massager is the cost. Oftentimes with these percussion massagers, the big differentiator between uh, good quality and bad quality is the cost. This one comes in at $140 on Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. I'll see if I can find a coupon code and I'll put it down there. I will say if it's on Amazon from time to time, that price is going to come down. They oftentimes will run promotional coupons to take, you know, $10, $20 off. As far as that $140 price tag, that is a little bit high with, with percussion massagers. I think the real sweet spot is around $100, but usually with these minis, you're getting like a niche product. So they tend to charge a little bit more because they're trying to pack so much into a smaller space. Another negative of this Bob and Brad percussion massager, and it's a minor one, is that it has an automatic timer to shut itself off after 10 minutes of use. If you read the fine print, they say that's to protect you from overdoing it on your massaging of your muscles. And I will tell you right now that that is a farce, that is a fake news story. Um, they did that because they don't want the machine to overheat. When you're putting so much electronics in, and moving parts in a small space, heat dissipation is an issue. And they know that if you run this for 30 minutes straight, you're gonna overload it, the parts are gonna seize up and you're gonna be in bad shape. I will tell you though straight away, when I do massage myself with my percussion massagers, um, when I'm working on like deep tissue issues and stuff like that, five minutes is usually the tops in terms of the actual time I will spend massaging something out. So a 10 minute timer on here, most people aren't gonna have it shut off on them. They're gonna have stopped before that 10 minutes because when you sit down and actually massage yourself for five minutes, you realize it's a lot longer than you think. The final and last negative that I don't think is gonna affect many of you is has to do with the actual power of this mini massage gun. For those of you who are big, beefy, you've got those tough, tight knots and you really wanna get that deep tissue massage to kind of work through, break up those tough knots, this is going to be less on the power side. Now for me, I'm 6'1", 185, this thing's strong enough to handle my needs. But for those of you who are athletes who are really looking for that top end performance, this just does, isn't gonna do it. It has the RPMs at the top speed, but it just doesn't seem to have that oomph. And that's understandable when you put everything into a smaller, more compact space, you're just not gonna get as much strength, as much go power as some of the big $300 models. At that higher price tag, you certainly need to be looking for this specific type of design. Lightweight, super, 
super easy to hold and something you want for moderate use. Overall, not a bad massage gun for if it's what you're looking for, but if you're a professional athlete or if you're on a budget, something you might want to skip and check out one of my other videos. I'll put all my uh, percussion massage gun reviews down in the description of this video. I'm on to like two dozen now. They keep making more and some of them are great and some of them are just uh. Overall, Bob and Brad definitely gets a thumbs up if it falls into your specific niche. Let me know in the comments below if this answered all of your questions. If you have any other questions that I just happened to miss, drop them in the comments below and I'll get them answered as quickly, as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching. If you came this far, give this video a like. Hit that, hit that subscribe button right down here. As usual, don't save anything for the trip back. This channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.